Oh, that smell. E36 smell. I love it. The smell of unburnt or burnt fluids. Okay. Oh, yeah. Why is this all like condensated? I don't like that. Is that oil? Sweaty boy. Okay. So today we're at the the drift car. Um, and yeah, I'm going to have to take all of this apart because I can't reach that without... Well, can I? Can I be a dickhead and try and do it without? No, I can't because I need to pull it off. Can I pull off the shroud? Just the shroud? Or will it just be in the way of the hoses? Oh. Okay, so if you don't know what I'm talking about, thermostat. <laughs> because I think this car doesn't have a thermostat. Either that or it's stuck open. Um, if it's stuck open, that's mental because basically good chance of it being stuck open rather than stuck closed. Is it me or is there oil all over this engine bay? What's going on? Yeah, there is kind of oil all over this whole engine bay, which is great. But whatever, it's not the cleanest engine bay anyway. Or do we want, do we not want that? I don't know, whatever. Okay, so <laughs> yeah, essentially I'm going to have to take out the radiator, which is a dead thing. So I don't want to do that. Ugh. Okay, whatever. Yeah, I guess I'll do it. And then I have to bleed the car somewhere. Because I know how to bleed cars. Um, that's why I was saying the story. So I bought a brand new thermostat from BMW. OEM, all right? Um, it was like 40 quid. And this is the pre-facelift one. Or so I've learned. There's a facelift and pre-facelift one. The pre-facelift one opens at 88 degrees Celsius. And the newer one, the facelift one, opens at 92 Celsius, something like that. So I guess the newer engines, like the M52s, run hotter, something like that. I don't know. Um, whatever. Either way, this car, I think it doesn't have a thermostat. Because um, when I drive it, <laughs> it takes like about three years to get up to temperature. As in, to get to the actual midpoint of the gauge. And then when it does... If I go on like longer journeys or I'm driving a bit faster, it will like dip down a little bit to like the quarter away mark, whatever. Not quarter, but you know, the, there's a midpoint and then there's that like little line that's kind of like halfway between the middle and like zero. Yeah, that, it goes to there and then it kind of chills there unless I go on like a really long journey, which happened last time and it actually worried me a lot because it dipped down while it, I was on the motorway, it dipped down to like the blue section. So I was like, all right, what the fuck is that? Um, there's clearly no thermostat or something. So I want to put one in there so that I can drive my car because my friend Galib, he fucking explained to me about bore wash and bore wash is no bueno. So we don't want bore wash. Uh, and we also don't want to have to get a new engine because this is my baby. Uh, <laughs> Little M50, bro. Um, so we, <laughs> we don't we don't want no bullshit. So essentially, I'm gonna try and get some clips. Mm, I'm not happy because I mean, I don't want to drain on the ground because that's just a dickhead move. I'll try and get like a little pot. Probably have one in the garden, so I'm gonna go and get that and sort stuff. All right. So what do you do when you're just living that drift life? You know. What do you do? You use your drift spares, okay? You use your drift spares as jack stands. Check this out. Don't even chat. Easy, all right? <laughs> so now, out of this little tub, I'm gonna make a little drain pan, and hopefully, I can actually salvage some of the coolant. That'll be great. So I don't have to, I probably will just go buy more coolant. Um, but yeah, that's where I'm at now. For some reason, the sun is out, which is beautiful. It is 28th of December right now. So like midwinter, but we're doing good. So thank you, sun. Stay out, boy. And let's get this thermostat in. Uh, okay, so this is what it looks like right now. It looks like I've made a lot of progress, but essentially not really. I've just taken the bumper off. Um, so the radiator is out. This is a bit oily, huh? How's the glare? Scratch it up nicely. Okay, yeah. 
So this is the radiator is out. This is all the coolant that came out of it. Uh, it looks a bit rusty. Eh, kind of. So it's fine. This is my new tools, eBay. So yeah, I'm just trying to take the clutch fan out because it's going to be in the way of the thermostat coming out. So I need to do that. Not cl the clutch fan itself, but like the fan off of the clutch thingy. So I feel like that might be difficult. I made slight mess with it, but with the coolant, it's fine. Uh, yeah, so I've got some, I've got like five liters of deionized water, which this whole bottle is five liters itself. So having that many liters of deionized water should be enough to make up for this. But I want to be on the safe side. I'll probably go get a bottle of coolant anyway. Or I might just be a cheapskate and try to blow this car up. <laughs> uh, but yeah, okay, so I'm going to update you with this fan if I manage to take it off. Hopefully I can. Uh, okay, so I managed to get the fan out and it actually was way easier than I expected. I, the bolts were really cooperative, or the nut, the, the bolts, yeah, I guess there'll be bolts. They were really cooperative, no stripping, no weird tightening bullshit. It's just this thing's a bit dirty, so I'm gonna probably clean it up a little bit before I put it back on. And yeah. Okay, so now comes the interesting part, which we're doing all this for. And it's gonna be undoing this bracket a little bit because it goes down to the thing somehow. Undoing this bolt and seeing these other two bolts right there and right there. It's probably dark for you guys, you can't see them. But that is gonna be the thermostat. I'm gonna leave the hoses attached to it because I feel like that is no point taking them off. This is actually pretty cool. I've never actually looked at the engine from here. I'm looking at it through the kidney gills right now. Oh, I might need to clean up there. It's a bit fucking dirty looking, isn't it? All this stuff looks good though. M50s, we love them, right? Fuck yeah. All right, cool. I'm gonna try and get that thermostat out now and hopefully nothing goes really wrong because I will be upset if it does. Yes. All right, so the thermostat housing is out. Uh, he's got some weird, I might have to go and buy this gasket because I don't know if I trust this one. Uh, and yeah, I was, I was right. There is no thermostat. This is what happened when I took it out. Nothing fell out. It's just an empty hole where a thermostat must be. So now I'm gonna have to put my other thermostat and put everything back together and bleed the thing. So yeah, I hope this gasket actually, I might, I don't know if I got it in the kit that I got from BMW. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have to see what's up with that. <laughs> Cause I'm not really gonna film putting it back together. Or I might do if I've run into some issues, but next step should be me putting my new spaces on, which I haven't spoken about yet, but I got smaller spaces because <laughs> These 25 mils on these ET30 ones are not the one that everything just rubs. As in, I've got too much negative offset. So, yeah, either way, uh, they, this we're just I'm jumping ahead of myself now. So let's not do that. I'm gonna put the thermostat in, see what about what to do about this gasket, and yeah. Oh uh, fuck. Okay, so essentially, yeah, what happens is the kit that I got. Well, not the kit. Well, I just got a thermostat from BMW. And you see the black thing in there, cool, that's one gasket which goes on the big ring, which is fine. But then we've got this other little boy, the squarey looking, smiley face, face, mouth boy looking. I didn't get that gasket. So I'm going to have to, I called BMW just now, I spoke to them and they were like, uh, no, sorry, Dad, we don't keep that in stock. But the Red Hill, uh, BMW has it. And I'm like, well, Red Hill's about 15,000 years away, isn't it? They were like, mm, yeah, but if you order it by post, it can be with you by the end of the week. No, I need it right now. <laughs> so um, I'm going to go to my house and look if I've got any black silicon because Vess said black silicon should do the job. And this thermostat housing already had loads of black silicon on it, which I'm guessing meant that they used black silicon last time when they put that housing on there, which means it worked because I had not had any coolant leaks from there. I.e. I'm going to go fucking get some black silicon if there isn't any at my house which there should be i just need to find it i'll go to halfords and buy some and finish this today before it gets dark but it's already getting dark so i might have to abandon it and continue tomorrow morning but tomorrow morning might be raining so i don't know i kind of want to finish it today i do have work in about an hour and a half so uh, i don't know we'll see but yeah so so far everything's taken apart and nothing's put back together yet because of one gasket which i knew would be a problem but I thought, oh, let's just chance it. But I'm not chancing it because I want to do this car properly. Not some bullshit hack shit where it's fucking leaking in two days and I'm like, oh, why, where's my car be heating? So yeah, we're not doing that. I'm going to go find some black silicon and be right back. Except because this is not in my garage, it is that street. <laughs> I have to fucking put everything back in the car. 
and get some clips. All right, so I put <laughs> it's back on. I got the gasket shit silicon thing right here. That's what I used. I did like little splodges, like just evenly over the surfaces. I didn't take off that orange gasket. I kept it in there and I put the silicon over it. So if something's wrong, I'll just do this again, like it's fine. So now I've got it on there and I've got the bolts in, but not tightened all the way. So I'm just gonna wait for it to set a little bit, make an actual gasket and then like squeeze it on there fully. And hopefully it works. I put a thermostat in of course as well. Um, it's got like a little arrow in the top of the middle and you point it up like off the ground, like up, I guess where straight up would be. I don't know, I put it like that. I don't know if it really matters, but I put it like that anyway, because I saw a video that said that. So yeah, I've got my housing on there now and I'm just waiting for it to set. While I'm doing that, I'm going to clean the little fan because it's quite disgusting, yeah? So I'm going to wipe it down a little bit to make it look good for who? I don't know, because you can't see it from the radiator anyway, but whatever, peace of mind, I guess. And then, yeah, probably just put everything back together and I'll update you guys when I'm bleeding it. Uh, one thing, before I put shit back together, I wanted to make a note for myself and for you watching because this paused me for a sec and I was like, what the fuck do I do? So the fan, when you put it back on, right? Uh, when you put the fan back on, you're, use it, you're facing it with the lip. You see how there's a lip? On, on this side, there's a lip. You have to face that lip out towards the front of the car. That's the correct way to install it. Uh, I watched, well, I didn't watch. I looked at some reference photos on like just literally pulled out engines from cars where you can see the fan and it, all of them, the lips are facing outwards uh, the way this one is, like the way the lip is facing out. Because on the other side, there's no lip. It's kind of more flat than this side. So I'm pretty sure this is the right way. So if it's not, then I'm fucked it. But I guess I'm, I think it might not really matter that much. So should be all right. Okay, bleeding process has begun. So the way I've been instructed by a few people, E36 people, have the bleeder screw open while the car is not on, fill it all the way up to the top with whatever the fuck you're filling up with, then close the cap, start the car, put the heating on blast, watch for leaks, which so far we're not, we don't have any, only thing I'm worried about, that bottom hose, uh, the, the hose clamp kind of started to skip a little bit when it started getting tight. So I'm not sure if it's fully tight and I don't know if it's going to hold. If it doesn't hold, then I'll just go get some more hose clamps and fix it. Uh, but for now, it's looking all right. I'm waiting to see what the fuck is going on. I'm really scared of bleeding. If you guys remember my radiator video, Radiator Chronicles. Uh, <laughs> For the silver car, I'm, I'm fucking shit scared of bleeding one of these cars. But what can I do? I need to learn, don't I? I need to fucking learn. So this is what we're doing. I've got the bleed screw fully open, the car is on. I'm gonna wait for it to get up to temperature and I'm gonna hope the little bubbles come out. If not, and it stays up in temperature and if the heating is on obviously and it's blasting really hot, then also it's bled. So I'm just sitting here waiting to shit myself. Okay, so it's that time and it's working. It bled itself first try, I didn't have to cry or suicide. Um, that's where the gauge is sitting. It's pinned at the middle. Um, I just drove it around for a little bit as well and everything's good. Um, a bit of coolant went everywhere because I left the bleed screw open to drive it to make sure it bled itself correctly. The top hose and the bottom boy as well is both like hot and it's calm. Uh, there's a bit of leakage, but I'm pretty sure that's from when everything was dripping off of everything. Uh, the car thermostat is in. Everything is calm. Uh, it's been it's been idling here for a second, like quite a bit, and it has not moved. Like it's still at the middle point. I'm pretty sure it's all good. I need to take it for an actual drive though to fully make sure. So I'm probably gonna do that after I go to work, but I'm already late to work. I was planning to be there at four. So it's fine, I'll, I'll leave it for now. Pretty happy with the progress I've made. So I put, oh yeah, I put the 50 mil spaces while I was waiting for it to bleed itself. So uh, yeah, that's that. Either way, yeah, I think so far, so good. With my first attempt at actually doing 
a quote unquote repair on this car. So, oh, well, since it's been on the road. So, yeah, cool. Uh, I will leave you guys for now and I'll probably be back when I'm doing the bucket seat.